Hey guys, what's going on? As much as I hate to admit it, I love McDonald's. The breakfast is excellent and saves me time in the morning. I remember the days of high school. We used to walk around a lot. I grew up in the Chicagoland area and 50% of the school year is really cold. Being first years in high school meant we didn't have a car. So we'd walk across two towns just to get McDonald's in the winter. And I'd always stash an extra McDouble in my jacket pocket because they're literally a dollar at the time. By 8 o'clock the whole group would be shaking and shivering, but I had that extra McDouble from earlier lingering in my pocket. That would always make my friends envious, while also keeping me warm. Needless to say, I now live about 500 feet from McDonald's, and I'm still a fan. As you can see by this outfit. Cop this Adidas Eric Emanuel All-American Games tracksuit collab on Friday, April 23rd, right at 9 a.m. Attempted to cop those shoes too, but on the Adidas app, but took an L. Luckily I was able to grab a pair on StockX. I was actually using my computer and my phone at the same time to try to cop the collab. Feverishly using my phone to try to get the shoes and my computer to get the tracksuit while waiting for the app to load, checked out with the tracksuit fairly instantly, uh, but every time I tried to check out with the shoes and the Adidas app, it would route me back from the payment confirmation page to the shopping cart, and I literally watched as all the sizes just progressively became grayed out as I refreshed, and it said they had 11 pairs in my size, then 4, then 3, then 2, then 1, and sold out, so... I guess the outfit wasn't really sought after as much as the shoes because it's still in stock a week later. Uh, but the shoes are pretty cool. Let's get into some history about the McDonald's All-American Games. The McDonald's All-American Games started in 1977 and consisted of high school seniors who were excellent basketball players. In 2002 they allowed girls into the competition. This game is considered a coming of age moment in many basketball players careers very young athletes would be able to showcase their skills on a national platform even before going to college. Well-known superstars like Michael Jordan, Shaq, Magic Johnson, Kobe Bryant, LeBron, Chris Paul, Kevin Durant, Derrick Rose all competed in the All-American Games. However, the Adidas Form 84 wasn't originally seen in the All-American Games. It was in the 1984 Olympic tryouts that Michael Jordan was seen wearing the white and blue colorway. He proceeded to do some marketing for Adidas for the bread colorway. <laughs> Unfortunately, they had to cancel the All-American Games this year. But Adidas and Eric Emanuel stepped up to celebrate the games with these fresh kicks alongside with a sweet collab of basketball clothes. If you ever wanted to get your hands on a pair of the coveted Eric Emanuel shorts, now might be the time to jump into the brand. To be honest, I think the french fry shorts are the only ones that are sold out. Anyways, you came here for a shoe review, not a history lesson. So let's get into it. Now introducing the Adidas Form 84 High. It's a basketball shoe with the McDonald's logo. Really clean colorway. Cream, yellow, red, white, and blue. My kind of shoe. I'm a really big fan of this off-white cream color too. And it's got an ankle strap. I've never had a shoe like that. Leather throughout the shoe is really smooth and soft to the touch. The strap is leather and the side panels here going to the toe are all leather. This one retails for a little more than the OG version so I'm wondering how the leather compares. Here we have the Golden Arches logo heat pressed into the side and an Eric Emanuel logo on the converse side. Leading through the triple red stripes we have another McDonald's All-American Games logo on the ankle and here on the tongue. The inside of the tongue is outfitted with a red trefoil logo. The tongue in the shoe is major. When this padded tongue first released, people fell in love with it. It's soft, plushy, and unattached. The shoes ship with a pair of white laces, but I believe they also come with a pair of red, yellow, and navy laces. Awesome. Definitely going to look like someone who enjoys a McDouble 
with a McFlurry after the basketball game. Everything about the upper is just clean. You can tell a lot of time when into designing the shoe because of the cohesive panels and the quality of detail. Everyone knows detail quality means high quality and above standard materials. Look at this last lace hole. It's yellow. They didn't have to do that, but they did. I could see how these shoes sent shockwaves through the sneaker industry when Adidas released them almost 40 years ago. The upper deserves a 10 out of 10. Focusing on the midsole, we have this nice cream color, and it's basically a foam insole with a rubber outsole in concert with a nylon Dillinger web pattern. Bill Dillinger was a designer from Adidas who said, you pay for the whole shoe, why not use it? From this he invented a way to prevent the midsole from bottoming out. It works kind of like a spider's web, where there are impact forces redistributed outward and laterally to reduce the amount of upward force your leg would receive. This helps with shock absorption and energy return and also keeps the shoe in good shape. I literally had to use a magnifying glass to read this, but essentially the shoe won't wear down, and the way in which it breaks in will be much more pleasant because the midsole will wear out in an equitable manner instead of one area just being completely bottomed out, like the heel or forefoot, while other areas seem untouched. The Dillinger pattern is a nice feature in the midsole and sets it apart. Final note about the midsole is right here on the back we have the extruded trefoil logo. I'm going to rate the midsole 8 out of 10. Adidas was a pioneer when it came to developing athletic shoes out of leather with a rubber outsole. Even though it might not be boost or zoom, they're still comfortable, and the leather is soft on the foot. They're very comfortable to walk in, and the shoe seems broken in out of the box, just like a Jordan. So I'll rate the comfort 8 out of 10. Now let's check out the traction. A mustard yellow traction pattern outfits the bottom. Each little radial has a trefoil logo embedded. This ketchup colored area that you see under the toe is something you'd see in a lot of old school basketball shoes. There are also these ribs on the side that seem to provide a little more lateral traction during quick moves. And the strap makes sense now. Finally in the middle we have a white Adidas logo with lines on the perimeter. The outsole is impressive and shows continuity in the craftsmanship of the shoes. Well executed. 10 out of 10. We'll finish the review with a quick hit about the size and fit. Basically fits like a Jordan 1. The toe box is roomy, provides a lot of space for your foot, and the strap is a nice addition if you plan on playing basketball in these. 10 out of 10. And that concludes my review of the Adidas Form 84 High, Eric Emanuel's take on the McDonald's All-American Games, a breakthrough for retros in 2021. Great job Adidas, and I can't wait to see what you do next. Overall score, 9.2 out of 10. Thanks for watching, and please leave a comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. I was actually about to put everything away before I took the tags off these shoes, and I realized Adidas uh, ships this little booklet on the tag, which is really cool. Um, it's got a lot of great uh, marketing material in it. Um, the form, the most technically advanced basketball shoe from Adidas, has five unique innovations with Make It the State of the Art shoe, crisscross ankle system, stabilio heel, Dillinger web system, impact absorber, wide grip multi disc shoe. And then they have this great little um, graphic, which actually, it's almost like a schematic or like a manual for the shoe like as you can see that Dillinger web system happening right there and you can see it again you got it highlighted 7 and 8 uh, reinforced toe box for improved foot protection 
perforated toe to, maxima to minimize heat buildup, a uh, forefoot cut designed to facilitate the natural forward flex of the foot. Wow, this sounds exactly like my scripts. <laughs> um, perforations between sh stripes for ventilations, patented, patented crisscross ankle system, Stabilio heel, Dillinger web envelops the microcellular wedge to diffuse shock with a trampoline action. Awesome. Here it is, your moment is in.